My friends, I will create a realistic paint brush for you. I already replaced so I use a very high quality brush. Uh, I, I will show you what I did, but I, first of all I will show you. This is, I will uh, create another letter, this is S. I want to show you what I did to mix colors. Because you will, because you will be amazed how brushes are performing. I should really use another layer or option multiply or col color. This is because I must show you how beautiful my brush works. I already over, I have overwritten settings of this brush, so I don't have to choose another one. I just wanted to show you what settings you need to apply to create a smudge like this. Because I use smearing, but you can use dueling as well. Dueling is better to mix up colors. In options, where you configure the rush, you see this top bar. I use uh, scatter. I can decrease a little bit. I use this and Oh, I have to use ma maximum. This gives you better effect for your brush. Smudge length. You can see this uh, top bar on your left. Oh, what is this? Reload brush preset. Hmm, interesting. Ah, yes, I understand because I have to override brush as well. Smudge radius. You should see behavior of this brush. Oh, as you can see, how my colors are being changed. You can see how smooth uh, this is when you use just basic blender. You don't have to choose uh, like I did before another brush because it takes time to find them. Uh, Instead, you can choose the basic blender, but you can have settings overwritten. This is what I did with my basic brush. I have overwritten settings. I have to check that option. Uh, maximum. What this tells me? Oh, this is to do with color. Oh, this improves my brush quality. I will decrease a little bit. As you can see, you can also paint at the same time. But I think I don't need this. Because this is color rate. I think color rate can be lower. I think for blender brush, it would be useful, but only 3% of this. This blender brush behaves like blender, but you can also use uh, color rating as well, color rate, to fix your letters. It looks like I created cloud. I can again switch to this one. Uh, what I could really paint. Oh no, color is not that visible. As you can see. Let's create another one. I just wanted to show you. A uh, little bit darker size. I won't overwrite three. I won't overwrite settings again. But I wanted to show you. 
You're going to really need it this week to defend Vlender because you can customize your Vlender. Oh, also, I have chosen Brush Teeth. I adjusted spacing to 0, got 0 0.5. And Scatter is 17%, Sludge Radius, Maximal. Sludge length as well. Mm, I just I have to check spacing because this is quite interesting. I have to check this option. Overwrite brush. Oh no, why is it so slow? Oh, looks quite interesting when I check this. No. Oh, I want overwrite. I have to check if my blender, how does my blender behave if I use option spacing. I have to check this. Hmm. I thought I would not paint. Strange behavior. Really, really strange. Rotation scatter. Uh, oh, overlay. No, I wouldn't use this. Gra gradient. I think this no this does nothing. What we can check. I get. I see some improvements. As you can see, your paint, your cloud is being created, is really, really good. As you can see, you can mix up color much better. I decided to unleash updated video tutorial. Instead of choosing new brush presets from here, what I did before, I decided to Configure basic brush and bl basic blender so you no longer have to change for different blender. It's up to you, but I, I find it more useful to use settings like this.